Hey guys, it's me, ThomasFan95, here with something for the month of November. As many people may know, the month of November is the same month Thanksgiving is celebrated. And one thing about Thanksgiving is being grateful for the things that you have. I, for one, am grateful to have all my Thomas models. Wooden Railway, Take and Play, Ertl, Trackmaster, etc. So, to celebrate, I will be posting videos once every Saturday showcasing all my collections. Some are smaller than others, while some, like my Wooden Railway collection, are pretty big. We'll be starting off with my Ertl collection, because Ertl was... Pretty much the first Thomas merchandise made. Well, not really the first. There was fully those crass out engine books. But these are the first sturdy pieces, if you know what I mean. Starting off with my engines, we've got Thomas, Edward, Henry, Gordon, James, my metallic Percy, since I don't own the regular one. Not yet, at least. Toby, Duck, Bill, Ben, Diesel, Daisy, Boko, my Metallic Renaeus, my Metallic Duncan. I don't own regular versions of either of these characters either. Godred and Wilbert. Alright. And then there's my one and only road vehicle, which is Terrence the Tractor, who has no treads, sadly. Now, on to my coaches. Annie, Clarabelle, Henrietta, the old coaches, and the Express Composite Coach. I don't have a brake coach, because this one came in a lot second-hand, and... Crap, if the camera will focus. There we go. Yeah, I got this in a lot secondhand of most of my collection here, so I didn't get the brake coach. I might someday when I get the express coaches new, hopefully. Moving on now to the trucks. We've got these two troublesome trucks and this truck. Alright, one really cool thing about it is that I'm... I'll have fight it so that this, I flip the foot plate around, or whatever this is right here, this bottom bit. The reason, how I managed to do that was, there's this small tab there that, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but, there was something at the bottom, on the thing that held these, all the truck together here in the center, not these two screws, and it had an extra tab of plastic that made this, so I would be facing this way, like with this truck, but I filed it down, so now it's front facing. If I ever find one of these closed eye troublesome trucks, I might do the same thing with it, so I'll be facing backwards. Moving on now to my other trucks. The mail vans. I've got two of them, and yes, the couplings on these broke along with other rolling stock I own, like Henrietta and the tankers. I replaced them all with toothpicks so that I can use them. Yeah, pretty, pretty cool life hack, isn't it? Speaking of tankers, I have the two tar tankers, and my milk tanker. Now for my one and only accessory, which is the water tower. I used to have the crane and all the pieces of track that came with both that and this water tower, but I lost them, which is sad, but at least I still have this. It's a nice piece. Now on to my extra engines. My other Thomas... I used to use this as my main Thomas, but when I tried to put on a window sticker that I found on another Thomas that I had, that I'm 
that's currently in the works for being repainted to a custom. I tried gluing that on, but it kept falling off, and I was being careless, and I managed to scratch some of the paint off, which was why I got my new Thomas over here, and this one is a stunt double now. Really sad, but oh well. My metallic Thomas, which looks more navy blue here. And I've got three Annies and one Clarabelle. Yeah, these three Annies came in the same lot as most of my collection. Yeah, most of my collection came from one single lot, which is pretty cool. And I got it for under 20 bucks, which is even better. Yeah, not really sure what I'm going to do with these. I might sell them on eBay. I might do a giveaway with them. You know, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that. I would, yeah, I'm not ready for, I don't think I'll ever be ready for that. But I'll find out what to do with them eventually. There's a bit of hair on Annie right here. Yep, those are my extra models. And now on to my packages. I've got Thomas the Tank Engine and Godred. Both of them in their Shine Time Station packaging because that's my favorite kind. I mean, just look at this background. Doesn't that look beautiful? Yeah, if only Mattel would take notes on this stuff. Another reason why I like these is because of the collector cards that you can cut out, but I want to keep the rest of the packaging just because of the scenery looks nice. So, yeah, I'm keeping these the way they are. Now to read off each of these cards. Collector card number one, Thomas the Tank Engine. Although his over-eagerness sometimes creates a bit of trouble, it never lasts very long, and Thomas is soon bustling about again. All right, and now on to Godred. All right, collector th card 39, Godred. Godred was the very first engine in the mountain railway. I think, I think it's supposed to be the very first engine on the mountain railway, but what do I know? Anyways, this made him rather conceited. One day he fell off the steep and dangerous tracks where he was supposed to be keeping a lookout. He could not be repaired, so he was taken in pieces to the engine shed, where his parts were used to mend the other engines. Yeah, that is pretty dark. One really interesting thing about this is that it says special edition engineized packaging. The same the same also applies to Coldy and Seatro. Yeah, I can understand why. There's I don't really See a churros. Uh, I can't even talk, sorry, this is all unscripted. But I can understand with Coldy and Godred being as they were never in the TV series, so yeah, that makes sense. But see a Tro was in the TV series and he wasn't really all that memorable compared to other visitors like Stepney. But yeah, it doesn't well, he was a special visitor, so I could see why, but at the same time, why didn't D199 get special edition engine? Why did he not get that written on his package? I mean, he wasn't in the TV series either. He was the same, it's the same situation as Coldy and Godred. Eh, I guess we'll never know. Alright, so that was my entire Ertl collection. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.